Merry Christmas. We're uh, excited here at uh, Mount Zion to give you the opportunity to celebrate Christmas with some songs and hymns. We know that uh, our normal Christmas celebration, we couldn't do that this year due to the COVID. So we thought we'd give you a gift of uh, the lessons and carols. Uh, Allison has uh, worked hard to put this together, and we hope you'll receive it as a gift as we sing some of your favorite Christmas hymns and share some of the, uh, the Bible lessons and Bible stories with which we're so blessed to have Christmas. So we gather here to recall the mystery of our redemption. Though sin drew us away from God, God never stopped loving us. The prophets told of the coming of a Messiah who would initiate a reign of justice in peace. This promise was fulfilled in the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Let us now reflect with joy on this wondrous mystery. If you would pray with me. Almighty God, you have heard our cries, you have known our distress, and you have loved us. In your love, you have chosen to give us the gift of yourself in a form that we can relate to you and understand. In this child who becomes a man, Your incarnational being has come to redeem us from sin and to reveal the path of light and love so that we may be restored to a right relationship with you and others. Thank you, Father, for sending your Son filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may finally know you. Teach us to love you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Our first lesson comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 3. It's always good to start at the beginning. Verse 8 through 15 and 17 through uh, 19. It says, They heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and thus you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. And the man, to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all of the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Come, thou long expected Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. 
angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Isaiah 9, verse 2 and 6 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Our next hymn, Lo, How a Rose Air Blooming. Coming as those of old. 
Isaiah 11, verses 1 through 9. A shoot shall come up from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, the young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. O little town of Bethlehem. One, twenty-six through thirty-five and thirty-eight. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? 
The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Hark, the herald angels sing. Verses 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Canarius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house of the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver the child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Away in a manger. Da 
Luke 2, verses 8 through 16. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to, made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. The first Noel. Matthew 2, 1 through 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, 
Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring, him, bring me word, so I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We three kings. John chapter 1, 
verse 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. O oh, come, all ye faithful. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ has come. Uh, we have a Savior. The Savior has been born. I'm going to offer a prayer, then we'll pray the Lord's Prayer, and then we'll give you a special Christmas message and just thank you so much for joining us uh, today as we celebrate Christmas. Won't you just bow with me for a word of prayer? Almighty God, you knew us in our despair, and you sent your Son to come be here. You could not let us be without you any longer, and you said, I must come and be there. Emmanuel, God with us. And not just to come and be with us, to help us through the difficult times, to help us in whatever situations we may be in, but to come and show us the way to live, to show us the way to light, to be the light in the darkness, to give us life in the midst of death. And Lord, we know that you didn't come just to give us uh, anything on this earth, but you came to promise us an eternal life in the next you came to forgive us of our sins. You came that we could have the promise of eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. And hallelujah, we are so grateful that it started in this way with a little manger and a little baby in a little town of Bethlehem. We know the end of the story is so much greater. But we thank you that every story has to start somewhere. We thank you that it started here. And as we celebrate and rejoice, we pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless us here in Lothian and wherever we may be listening from or watching from, whatever town we're in, we know that it may be uh, a small town, it may be a big city, but we know above all else, you are here with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We pray that you would help us to focus on you today, no matter what cares, concerns may be uh, around us, that we may just see you for all you are and know you for all you've done we may experience the joy of salvation through Jesus Christ. We thank you. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. And now if you would pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Now, I would like to say, I think Jen would like to say, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Go ahead, Jen. Yeah. Merry Christmas. We just, we love you so much. and We're so glad that we could celebrate this with you. Uh, we know we, things have been different this year. So we wanted to give you a special gift. We hope you'll find this to be a blessing and a joy. And we're just uh, so grateful that we could be your pastors, your, uh, your staff here at Zion. Now, if you receive the benediction, may the love of Jesus Christ overflow in your hearts. May the Holy Spirit work within you that you can show that love to others, that above all else, you could bring glory to God the Father who loves you with all that he is and all that we are. In Jesus' name. Amen. Joy to the world. Amen. Merry Christmas. <laughs>